Okay, I'm testing this uh, emulator out uh, called uh, Gen, I think. I think it's called like Gen. And what's good about this Sega Dreamcast emulator is it has all of the, it has like over a thousand Sega Genesis games. Like Altered Beast, it's got it. Um, Booger Man, I just played that. Uh, I, uh, the problem with it is, th is that it doesn't, it takes forever to scroll down. So it's just a little small glitch. Um, but excellent emulator. I believe there's a SNES emulator, and I think I have it. I think I have the SNES emulator. But, like, it's, um, the, the SNES emulator's like, uh, there's something satisfying about this game. It's like the first... I guess this is game I ever played. The SNES emulator is like, uh... I'm not gonna lie, the SNES emulator is, I think it's a little slow. I'm gonna try and, uh... Find the SNES emulator, basically. Um, I might have it, I might not. Let's see if we can find it. I, uh, didn't, uh... Predetermined video. This is a uh, Vigilante 8, Second Offense, excellent game. Um, you know what? I'm gonna try Second Offense on Vigilante 8. Gauntlet Legends. <clears throat> If I have the SNES emulator, I'm gonna be really, really surprised. Um, I was playing Tomb Raider, but I don't have time to play the whole game. But it's a, it's a good game. Like, I'm actually finishing Tomb Raider on PS4. Um... So here's Vigilante 8 while I search for it. I think this is one of the games that I... Uh, This is one of those AV cable games. So the trick is to uh, plug it in and then wait a few seconds and then plug in the video. I know I have a SNES simulator. But I know it's gonna be like there we go. I think I labeled it M through Z, like I didn't put SNES on that label. This game right here is excellent. Like, um, like, I remember 
remember it. Like, I was a big twisted metal fan. But it's actually, uh, I remember uh, becoming like really addicted to this game for some reason. It's like a cartoony version of Twist and Roll 2. Um, like, um, uh, it takes, uh, I don't know. It's a good game, basically, and I enjoy the first and second one. As you can see, I have all the characters and stuff. And it's excellent on multiplayer. Um, like I said, Twist and Metal 2 fans are not going to like it because it's a little slower. It's like a slower version of Twist and Metal 2 is all I can say. Like everything's slower on it. The vehicles are slower. The, the action is slower. Gobots versus Transformers, like, but the Gobots were, were like, um, well, like, uh, had no competition against Transformers. But it's a little bit better than a Gobots versus Transformers scenario. Like, Vigilante 8 actually did have a little bit of competition against Twist and Metal. Like, it was, um, it was, uh, highly addictive. It's basically when you can't get Twist and Metal, you buy it. Great game, so let's put in, uh, yeah, let's, let's put in this, I doubt this SNES emulator is going to work, I, I highly doubt it, but let's give it a shot. A lot of these discs um, have holes in them or are broken in some way. And some banner speaking. Planet Web 3 browser, really good browser. Uh, I don't know, this is a good collection for someone who would want to uh, do. Yeah. Let's see how well this runs. I don't remember it running too well. Like, I remember the Genesis emulator running perfectly, and, like, I'd put, like, we'll try NBA Jam, for instance. Uh, I like NBA Jam. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna run too well. Like, I bet you it's gonna run kind of slow. But I could be mistaken. Like, I could have maybe tried a game... Uh, that does run slow, like, uh, uh, wait, this is a Sega Genesis emulator, oh, I'm sorry, uh, maybe I, uh, hmm. I just have to keep looking for my, G uh, SNES emulator. This was uh, my all-time favorite game on that game. I 
I always thought SNES was better than Genesis due to the amount of colors it had. It had one advantage over Genesis, and and everyone agrees about this. And this was the scrolling, the the ability to scroll layers, and the uh, the colors. So Genesis had the better animations and the higher resolution. SNES had the ability to scroll and the higher amount of colors. It had uh, 256 colors. Genesis had uh, like something like 72 or something. But uh, Genesis was actually faster. It had a. Uh, so you could, it, it had faster scaling, but it didn't have the uh, multi-layer scaling effects. It was basically the most perfect uh, competition between two consoles you could ever have. Like both consoles had their own like abilities to uh, do things. Back to looking for the uh, SNES emulator. I mean, it's not the emulator I'm looking for. I, I have a Counter-Strike Final for some reason. Like, I have a really good collection of Dreamcast games. Really nice collection. Ah, here we go. Dream, Dream Smash. Nope, it's in brand new condition. As if it's not even touched. Dream Smash. There we go. I have uh, both this. Oh, what is this? I never even played this. My god damn. I, I mean, this is like a, a dream come true for any uh, enthusiast of um, Dreamcast. Nestor DC Dreamsness? Oh, this has, uh, one, I don't know what this is. This has the, the emulators, but without any games. Like, it'll just have Zelda or something. Uh, really good modding community for Dreamcast. Like, almost excellent. Um, there was a reason why, you know, why I, I bought a Dreamcast and it was uh, you get know, free games obviously. But I did, you know, my brother bought a Dreamcast first and, and I did, you know, um, I can't remember if I invested in, on a dream on Dreamcast games. But I did uh, think, like, my, I, I did plan on investing on it. Like, I, I was like, this is, this is going to be, uh, this is going to take PlayStation. Like, I was one of those people that thought this would beat PlayStation 2. Like, 
I thought Sega had Genesis. I thought Sega was back for some reason. And I didn't even like the Genesis. Like, even though I owned the Genesis, I, I was, was more impressed with the with Donkey Kong and the N64. And uh, SNES, sorry. Um, there was one, there was a few games I liked on Genesis, like Sonic 3. I thought game, I thought Genesis was impressive, yeah. But, it couldn't really beat Star Fox and Donkey Kong. Well, it could, right? It could. With, uh, certain games could, like, Vector Man was impressive. Um... Uh, the thing is that is that Dr that Genesis had uh, uh, if I were to give it to I would give it to the SNES on that race um, but you know Genesis did have a good good amount of good games like virtual racing and uh, You know, uh, all the games that were on it, like Earthworm Jim, were, were all, all the 2D games that were on it, um, were always a little bit better. Like, the animations were better on Genesis. So the ports, it had all the ports, like, no matter what port you played, the animations would be better on Genesis. Alright, we got, uh, now let's see how this plays, uh, Dreamcast, uh, SNES games. Ooh, and it has a better scroll. So we're gonna play, uh, I don't know, the Jungle Book, or, uh, there's so many games to choose from that I'm, uh, Wow, this is a nice emulator compared to the Genesis emulator. Wow. I don't know why I picked the general book like me there. Let's see how well it runs. I remember some games weren't running too well, like the frames would be low or something. Yep. Uh, see how it's choppy? It must be the colors or something. I, I don't get it. Dreamcast, as you know, doesn't like SNES too much. Proof that the SNES doesn't actually play games too well on, and it's strange, right? Because the megahertz on the the Genesis are actually higher than the than the, uh, than the SNES. Anyways, that's just a little preview. I'm gonna continue surfing these games. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this miniature review.